One down, everybody. This is Gold Glove uh, bringing you guys another COD4 multiplayer video. This one is on ambush, and I'm using a silenced M4 carbine, bandolier, stopping power, and steady aim. And uh, let me tell you guys, uh, you never used to use this class, but I watched, uh, if you guys don't know him, Blame Truth. He busted out a um, multiplayer kind of a strategy tactical video uh, talking about classes and such. And one of these, and this is one of the classes that he uh, he kind of suggested. So I decided I'd try it out, and he was right. This class is amazing. Don't even pay attention to what I'm doing right now because I couldn't remember how to get up here. I finally figured it out though. But uh, I'm picking up. I pick up that kill on the guy behind the wall. Uh, and I mean, look at the long range. It has a silencer. Doesn't matter. The iron sight on the M4 carbine is uh, is is too great. I mean, doesn't matter what kind of range. I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be a sniper, but you don't need a red dot. You can use the silencer, and it's just it's just a much needed uh, attachment for this class. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of a slow start. Uh, I'm playing with Johnny Boy again, who you'll notice is in basically every one of my videos. He's basically my partner in crime when it comes to Call of Duty. But uh, him and I are playing, and this is pretty much domination. I mean, I'll show you guys a little bit of strategy that I use on this map, and this is probably my be my best map when it comes to uh, when it comes to team deathmatch. Anyway, um, Johnny Boy and I. Uh, we use M4 carbines now on this map. Silence. We do the same classes, so uh, you know it's kind of it's kind of double trouble when you have us in a match. But um, like I said, it's a slow start. I'm only 2-0. No. We only got a three kill lead, but we we get close to losing the lead, but we do keep it the whole time. Uh, Lord Rame tear this kid apart the entire game. Not the uh, best player, as you can see. So I got my UAV and there's Lord Rayme again and I pick up the double kill. Stupid last stand. Stuff's annoying. Um, if you know someone's got last stand, just just follow them down to the ground. Make sure you don't let them have a chance to kill you because it's frustrating to die by last stand. It's just it just really is. So uh, I pick up the helicopter, I call it right away. Uh, as you can see, like we're they're they're all spawning in basically the entire game. They don't change spawn points, which is a, which is perfect for us because most people. Do you see how my teammate on the left side on the map is pushing in this uh, God of War, War kid? That's bad. I'm glad he died because if we push him too far, their spawn is going to change. <laughs> and right now they're spawning to the point where they're coming. They're going to spawn right into us. And we can sit in these these outpost buildings right along this spawn point and just pick them off, and that's what we're doing. Almost three fourths, you know, almost my entire team is sitting back doing it. As you can see on the map, we're all kind of just medium range. We're not pushing back into there, and that's a great strategy when it comes to competitive play. As I'm picking up the 10 kill streak, there's 11. Another Lord Rayman. Uh, but like I said, I tear him up this game. Uh, but Johnny Boy doing work as well. But um, yeah, like I said, the strategy is great. Oh, and by the way, I mean that's my only death this match. But um, like I was talking about, Blame Truth. The link for his site and this video will be in the description. It's a long video, but it is definitely worth the watch. And uh, with Call of Duty Mo Modern Warfare 2 come out, it's basically a strategy guide for that as well. And I give the guy major props for putting out such a good video because it definitely helped me. And it definitely changed how I, I'm playing. So as you can see, I have steady aim on this thing. And you can just shoot from the hip from, I mean, from medium distance to even sometimes long distance. It just kind of depends. I mean, look at how small that uh, the cursor is. The iron, I mean, the iron sights on this gun are just perfect. So there I go, picking up this P90. I don't really use it very much. Not a really good map for P90 unless you got some UAV jammer. So there you go. See that? Straight hip fire. Hit him basically with every shot. And he spawns again. I spawn, kill him. Has to be frustrating. So like I said, do you see? They're still on the same side of the map. They haven't changed their spawn one time. 
and we're st we're doing perfect. We're sitting back. And I pick up another airstrike. And we see, and I mean, we're doing this, but we we only have a four point lead. So I mean, they're doing a good job defending. My teammates, unfortunately, aren't very good. Um, I mean, I've got a. I'm, there I go, picking up another helicopter. I have a couple matches you guys are gonna see that uh, Johnny and I we go like 20. Well, I mean, we have a five kill to death ratio, 5.0 kill to death ratio in these matches, and we still lose them. I mean, that's how bad our team is. John and I both do this good, and we still lose. We have teammates going like zero and 15 and two and 23. I mean, I, you can't play with that. You just can't. It doesn't matter how good you're going to be. But uh, I just start, you know, they're still they're still uh, spawning on the side, so I'm just camping up in this building. I know plenty of people are going to give me crap for it. I don't really care. It's a strategy. I'm a competitive player. I want to win. And uh, Modern Warfare 2 is coming out, so I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty 4 recently. Get prepared. Uh, I'm going to be playing competitively. So, uh, so basically I'm just interchanging with these M4 carbines, red dot, silencer, picking up the uh, 15 kill streak, and uh, we've got a good lead now. I don't know what that guy's doing, because I know he's got a, uh, a little submachine gun, I don't know why he's sitting that far back. I mean, they're trying. They're trying to defend, but they just, they, I mean, unfortunately, we just played it right, and um, unfortunately for them, fortunately for us, uh, we just played it right, and we didn't push them too much to the point where their spawn changed, and that's basically just the outcome of this game. It's the only reason that uh, I can just sit back and just basically dominate them like this. So there he goes, 30 and 1. And I do pick up the final kill in this match. I'm reloading. On the guy spawning right there. This guy's a sniper. So finish it 31 and 1. Um, I mean, yeah, another game. Be sure to check out the video the video in the description. Blame Truth. I've got some more videos coming your guys' way. I'll catch you guys later.